Well, just first of all, uh, tell us a bit about MyLapse and what you're showing here at the exhibition. Well, MyLapse is a company that makes timekeeping equipment. We've been in the business for 30 years. We uh, time all the major uh, professional uh, motorsport series such as NASCAR, IRL, um, Formula One, you name it. We, we, uh, we provide the timing equipment that the timekeepers use to time it. MotoGP, Olympic Games, you name it, we're there. And you're showing at this exhibition some new products? Uh, most definitely. We've got some uh, exciting new developments um, which tie in with what we're seeing around the world today. Um, and I think those are two trends uh, that we, we, we jumped on, on board with. Uh, a very important trend uh, is the need for more and more data. If you look at uh, the amount of data that people are seeing at sports events, for instance, uh, at a motorsports event, MotoGP, the amount of data you're getting, you're even getting heart rates and those kinds of things from the drivers. Um, and that's all about not just getting information from the car, but also sending information back to the car. So where most timing system worldwide are unidirectional, you just get the information, this is the car that's passing the line. We're showing a system here that is in use with all the professional motorsport series, where also information is sent back into the car to enable push to pass and those kinds of functionalities. And it's now being launched as a club system. The second thing that we're, do, that we're seeing is the motorsports are, in a certain sense, they're hurting from uh, people not having enough money to start racing. And what we're introducing is a transponder that you don't pay at once, that you don't buy at once, but you pay per year. You pay at the beginning of a year and then you use it for a year. If you stop racing, that's fine. If you continue to race, you pay for another year. And that way, in the long run, it's a lot easier for clubs to join. And we, we're seeing that happening. We're seeing series that are grassroots, that have not been able to uh, afford timekeeping in the past. They're now saying, look, you know, we've been, we've been on the fence for a couple of years, but now we're really gonna jump on it because we're not burdening our drivers with, uh, with big expenses up front. That adaptability is, is crucial, as you say, in, in quite difficult times. Most definitely, most definitely. I think um, everybody here is aware that the number of racers is dwindling in series and we have to find ways to A, find new racers and those have to be young racers because um, as we're all getting older, um, you know, people don't pick up racing at 55, they're picking, picking up racing at, uh, at 20 and 30 and that's the kind of guys that we need to catch. So that two-way directionality system, the X2 system where you can send and receive data tell people in the car, what's your position, you're much more tying into that computer game experience that they're used to these days. So you, you have to make racing more exciting, more fun, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to contribute to that. Why is it important for MyLabs to be at professional motorsport world? I'm, everybody who's anybody in, in European motorsport racing is here, and that's why we need to be here, to show uh, that after 30 years we're still leading the field with respect to sports timing, in innovation and uh, in electronic re reliability. And it's been a good week for you, celebrating your anniversary, your birthday? Yeah, most definitely. We've had a, a lot of traffic. I mean, there's uh, quite a few people at the stand now, and uh, that's, been, uh, that's been how it's been for the, for the past few days. Yeah, most definitely.